Today there was a little cosplay convention in my town and I wore my Daenerys Targaryen cosplay costume for it. I made this cosplay in 2019, almost five years ago. And only today I had an opportunity to wear it in some kind of convention. We want to start with the most beautiful part of Daenerys Targaryen, her beautiful silver hair. This is my beloved lace front wig for her and it was not in the best shape, so I needed to style it again. I love this wig and use it pretty often, not only for Daenerys, last time I worked as Snigurichka with it, and even though it is pretty much tangled, especially on the back, it is very easy to brush and style it again, because this wig has very good quality, it has very good hair and it's very very thick. And it also took me a lot of time to detangle everything because of it, but it was also actually kinda pleasant to touch those beautiful hair. After this, I crimped hair roots and teased it a little bit so it could have a little bit of volume on top of the head. Also took me an hour <laughs> because of the thickness of this wig, but it was worth it, of course. Many, many moons after this, I finally started to style everything. Daenerys' hairstyle from this episode is the easiest from all of her hair situations, I guess. Well, maybe except the second season. There was almost nothing but curly curls on her. But even though it is simple, it still took me some time to figure out how to tie all those little tails and to make them cute and accurate and canonical. Actually, I made it a little bit not canonical. I left a little bit more hair near my face because I like it on myself more than the original design, which looks more like a braid. For this hairstyle I used these hair ornaments, I just did little ponytails and then squished this thing on them. I just buy it from Aliexpress too as well as everything else. <laughs> and a few hours later it is actually done! I really love this hairstyle very much. It might be simple, but it's still very soft and beautiful and elegant and gorgeous. I made cosplay of Daenerys from her wedding. It was at the very first episode, very first season of Game of Thrones. And I really love how Daenerys look there. And it is actually really very easy to cosplay. <laughs> I bought this dress from Aliexpress for real cheap. And it's gorgeous. I adore this so much. It made out of really very beautiful and soft natural material. And it low beautifully. It looks so canonical as it was in the original and I bought it for real cheap. I was very happy when I got this. It's very very long and it has these beautiful long long sleeves like dragon wings and I was really very very happy when I got this. I'm not happy when I need to iron this dress <laughs> because this is natural fabric. It wrinkles really very easily and I need to iron those meters of fabric for like an eternity but i have no regrets it's really worth it it's amazing <laughs> sleeves there are actually just simple leather belts and in the original it was much more complicated and interesting but you know it is actually can be easily fixed if only i wasn't that lazy <laughs> those dragons for the brooch i bought separately from aliexpress too but they are quite simpler and more primitive than in the original dress but it was cheaper <laughs> <laughs> and it was the main thing that was important for me. Look at my beautiful boots for this cosplay. I actually found them on thrift store and they matched this dress so good. I was really very happy when I found it. And actually, they are absolutely not canonical at all. In this scene, in wedding scene, Daenerys wore something like ballet shoes or something like this. They were really very simple and something like boots she wore only at the end of the season when she went to the big flame stuff. <laughs> so I didn't even have to suffer on those big long heels, actually. But I'm suffering anyway. <laughs> Because I'm a cosplayer. Actually, I'm really glad to have those high heels for this dress because this dress is pretty long for myself and these boots helps me not to flow over the, all the floors that I have with my dress and it makes me more higher and more slower so I can move in this costume more gracefully and carefully. Yeah, and they are really, really, very beautiful. 
For this cosplay, I also made something special, the dragon egg. I thought that this costume is way too simple by itself, so I wanted to make some kind of prop for it. At her wedding, Daenerys received three dragon eggs as a gift, and she took first out of the chest exactly green one, Rhaegal. So I decided to make it. But I even wanted to make a new egg for this cosplay this year, but I realized that I won't be able to do it on time to the convention, so I used my old one. I'm going to make another video about how I made my dragon eggs. I actually want all three of them, so I'm gonna do it and yeah, stay tuned for the video on my channel. Subscribe. Makeup. I think that the modern clean girl makeup trend is perfect for Daenerys, just to give her a fresh natural look since she used absolutely no makeup herself. <laughs> Only her natural beauty and youth. I use loose color foundation and tiny dots on concealer on my face, also doing something like contouring with the same concealer stick. The main part of Daenerys Targaryen or Emilia Clarke face are eyebrows for sure. I am using multiple products for it. First of all, eyebrows pencil. I draw something like hair with it and then do the same with eyeshadows. I draw a thick and straight shape of my eyebrows and then I paint them with eyebrow mascara so hair on the eyebrows could look more voluminous and natural. Then goes no makeup eye makeup. I create a base with light beige color and then put some nude brown colors on my eye crease. To make it simple, I just make my eyes brighter, but still natural. To keep the same natural effect, I use brown mascara, since black one is way too visible on eyes. Also, I paint it a little bit between my eyelashes with brown pencil. Still, keep doing eyebrows all the time, yeah. Emilia Clarke also has beautiful plump lips and I am not, so to make it bigger I paint them with the same brown pencil, blending it a little bit for a natural look, yeah, natural, and then putting on my lipstick. I also use this lipstick for blushing. Final step, I put on loose transparent powder and then double all face makeup, but with dry products, dry contouring, dry highlighter and blush. And I put on my eyebrows again, some light concealer to create a blonde effect on them. Ta-da! My makeup is finished! To be honest, when I came to the convention, I also did my iconic thick eyeliner. <laughs> I know that it's not canonical, but I love myself more when I'm cosplaying with it. It makes my face more cute and bright, and it makes my heart soft and happy. And this is the main thing in cosplay, isn't it? So this is how I cosplay Daenerys Targaryen. I am really very grateful that you watched my video. I hope you got some inspiration here or something else. 